Hello viewers, welcome to Programming Geek. I am here with a new tutorial that is display data from SQL Server database to text box, combo box, data feature and ready button control in BB.NET from application. Start SQL Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Server name is Kerlock hyphen SBR authentication SQL Server authentication is a name SA login name and password is SQL Server authentication password. Now connect. Yes. Now expand the database folder. My database name is Programming DB. Expand the Programming DB. Expand the table. This is the table. Product underscore setup underscore tab. And these are the records in the database table. Product ID, item name, design, color, date, and warranty type. Now start Microsoft SQL Server Manager, Microsoft Visual Studio, new project, Windows, Windows Form application. This is the location where the application will be created. Now my project name is Display Data to Text Box Project. Okay, the project is so created. Now resize this form. Okay, now I'm gonna design this form with level control, uh, text box, combo box, and button control to perform uh, this uh, tutorial. Complete code operation link given in the description box below. Okay, now I'll change the text of this uh, label. Label one, this level control I'll use to, as title of this form. Size is 16, and text is display data from SQL Server database to text box and color is button paste okay now change the back color of this form back color is yes now this is looking nice Le uh, level i just added uh, one more level control this level control for product id and change the color for color button paste font size 12 font bold true okay now add uh, more five uh, level control for item name design color uh, date and warranty type uh, change the text of this uh, uh, level control added level control design this one for color on this one for insert date and this one for warranty type okay now add a text box control from the toolbox yes Resize this text box control, change the font size, font size is 12, ok, now copy and paste. Now the combo box, yes, and add a, uh, change the text of this uh, font size 12 and add a datum picker control. This datum picker control will be used for insert date. Change the font size 12, ok, now Add a radio button control. Ready button change the color of uh, font color button piece. Font size is 12 and the text is allowed. Just copy this ready button and uh, add same things. This ready button I'll use for not allowed. Okay, now the button control. This button control uh, used uh, for charging the records based on product id text is fine for color button page font size 10 font bold true ok and back color bah, purple now this is looking nice ok now add a data grid view control from the toolbox just to drag the data grid view control and uh, drop it in the uh, windows form ok now go to the form load event Right code to load data in data grid view. So, first of all, connect with the SQL Server database table. Deem con as new SQL connection. To use SQL connection, you should add namespace import system to data.sql client. Now, uh, go to the server explorer, add connection. Uh, server name is catalog hyphen SBR. SQL Server authentication, username SN, and password is SQL Server authentication password. And database name. My database name is programming DB. Yes, okay. Yes, this is added now and this is the table you can see right click the database and click on property 
double click uh, the connection string copy and paste it in the double quotation of sql connection okay you can see id uh, okay now dim com as new sql command my sql command is to select records all the records and display in the dedicated view so select a start from product underscore set of underscore tab initialize the connection string con dim ds as new scale data adapter com com is command sql command dim dt as new data table finally ds dot fill dd data grid view one data grid view my data grid view name is data grid view one the data should equal to dd okay you can see id is sa but password is a star so you should put your original password as for authentication password debug yes the records all the records displaying in the data grid view display data in related control based on product id to do that uh, go to the button click event and just copy the SQL connection and command uh, to uh, the, the records selection records okay now we should add a higher close uh, for product ID so tab higher product underscore ID this is the column name primary key column product ID equal to syntax single quotation double quotation and percent and here is uh, my declare variable deem id as integer yes this is the uh, integer type and my uh, table name is uh, the textbooks name is textbooks one change the textbooks name so that you can uh, write code easily and perfectly so textbox txt pid txt p name item name txt p name and text design and color is combo color and uh, radio button is radio allow and radio radio button two is radio not allow okay now go to the uh, add items in the combo box black white i just added two color okay now text name is txt id dot text okay now in higher product id equal to fee id put fee id okay now if dt dot rows dot count greater than zero i mean if the records exist in the database table then txt fee name dot text equal to dt dot rows zero i mean row index zero and column index one one is item name dot twisting zero is product id and one column column index one one is item name and design design is row zero and column two design let's check 101 fine yes laptop dell is displaying perfectly and uh, 102 wireless dell is also working but uh, color item name is not displaying yet because so write code combo color dot text equal to dt dot rows 0 and column index is 3 dot twisting then item picker one the text equal to dt dot rows zero and column index four dot twisting okay fine now radio button so to display radio button checked i should add a variable dim warranty as a string equal to initially it will be blank then if if dt dot rows zero in column index is five dot to string equal to allowed i mean if the data in the data uh, the database is allowed then it will check the radio radio allowed so uh, for to radio allowed dot check equal to true if it's not allowed i mean it's not allowed then it will check the radio not allowed yes and debug 
101 find yes not allow or 101 is warranty type allow but it's displaying not allow so this is error 102 not allow 103 not allow maybe uh, let's check the code oh yes this is allowed yes let's check 101 allowed yes it's working fine 102 not allowed yes based on the records 102 not allowed and 103 allowed yes thanks for watching this tutorial